Hello, I'm Jen Barnaby, and in this video I'll go over how to create a process group in Apache NiFi. Process groups allow you to simplify and organize what you see on the graph. Let's take a look at how we do this. The easiest way to add a process group is to drag the process group component from the component section of the toolbar and add it to your graph. You give the process group a name, I'll call this one My Process Group, and click Add. Now you can go into the process group by double clicking it. Here we'll have a blank graph on which to build the flow. You can see in the breadcrumbs section that we're now in the My Process Group level. It's one level below the root group, which is called NiFi Flow by default. To go back to the root group, you can click this link or right-click anywhere in the open graph and select Leave Group. This always takes you one level up. So that method of creating a process group is really good when you know you want to build your flow in the process group. But sometimes you already have a flow built and you want to turn part of that into a process group. Let me delete this process group and show you the other method. So I have a flow here. It generates flow files and then distributes them to different directories. And then I want to log their attributes. But I've decided I want to turn this center portion into a process group, sort of the distribution part of my flow. So what I'll do is I'll select it by holding down the shift key in the left mouse button and dragging a selection box just around that part of the flow. Then I'll go to the actions toolbar and click on the group button. Again, I should give the process group a name. I'll call this one distro and click add. Now everything I had selected is inside this process group. And if I zoom in on it, we can see that the four components are inside it. The only problem is I don't have any input ports or output ports. So if I want to send data into it or out of it, I won't be able to. In fact, if I try to draw a, draw a connection from this processor to the process group, I'm told there are no input ports. So let me double click the process group again and go inside it and add some input ports and output ports. I'll just add one of each. I'm going to drag an input port to the graph and I'll call it to distro. Now you can see that this input port is invalid because it doesn't have any outgoing connections. So I'll drag a connection to this processor and click add. On this side I'll add an output port. I'll call it from distro. And I'll go ahead and drag a connection from this funnel to the output port and click Add. Now this output port is still invalid because it doesn't have any outgoing connections from it. I want the connection to go up to the root group, so I'm going to go ahead and click that breadcrumb here to go back to the root group and add the outgoing connection. Now I can add the connections that I couldn't add earlier. So you can see that this ingoing connection goes to the to distro input port. And the outgoing connection is coming from the from distro output port. Now everything inside my process group is ready to go. If I zoom in on it, I can see that I have my input port, my output port, and all of my components. And that's how you build a process group in Apache NiFi. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.